Hi, I'm Susan. And I'm Mariette. And today we are cooking Indian food. I'm so excited. Mariette spent a lot of time in India, and she's <laughs> promised to make me this very authentic lemon doll. I can't wait to see how it's, it's done. Lemon ginger doll. <gasps> Ooh. We're serving that with um, some rice and a side salad. So, um, I've got some brown rice cooking here on the back burner. You can use white basmati also. Um, we've already started that because it takes a really long time to cook. Um, here I have uh, six cups of water okay. and one cup of turdal, um, which I've brought to a boil and have just now brought down to a simmer. I don't have any idea what that is. <laughs> so turdal <laughs> is a it's a kind of lentil. Um, it looks like this. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah. Um, it's um, you can find it in Indian grocery stores okay. or online. Um, if you can't find it, mm -hmm. um, then you can substitute like the regular red lentils okay. that you find in any grocery store. That I used to. Um, it has a slightly different flavor, but it still works. Okay. All right. So the first thing you want to do is once your once your doll has come to a boil, it develops this foam on top. So you just remove that from the pan, okay. and then you add your ingredients. Okay. So, I've got, um, these are three canned tomatoes that have been chopped up. Um, you can also use a fresh tomato if you've got, you know, like a large fresh tomato. And then we're going to add uh, one tablespoon of grated ginger, half a teaspoon of turmeric, and we've got about one tablespoon of um, chili in here because it's a jalapeno, so it's less, and it's not a very spicy jalapeno. If you're using spicier chilies, or you just don't like spice that much, mm -hmm. then go ahead and um, you can use less. So okay. we stir that up. And let, let that simmer away. Okay, next. We've got one and a half teaspoons of ground ginger and one teaspoon of ground uh, coriander. So once this pan is hot, you, you, put the, you put the spices in the pan and just sort of toast them for about 30 seconds and you'll notice that um, you start to get the aroma. Oh, okay. In a second. So then in the meantime, we can make up our salad dressing. Oh, okay. All right. What are we doing? Uh, so what you want to do is put in two teaspoons of lemon juice. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, one tablespoon of lemon juice. Oh, okay. Two t yeah, two teaspoons probably wouldn't taste uh, Wait right? with the oil for a second. Oh, then One what? teaspoon of, of ground cumin. Okay. I'm going to eyeball this. Yeah. But if you need it, that looks about right. A little bit more? No, no more. Inch more. Only... Inch more? Yeah, that's about right. Okay. Uh, a pinch of cayenne. Yeah. Um, again, the chili, the chili part of this is really the taste because some people like spicier than others. Okay. Next. And then uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. One. Yeah. And then uh, do some salt and pepper to taste. Yeah. Here's some salt. I like a little bit more salt. Pepper. Okay, and mix. Shall I just throw the vegetables and just right toss in? the vegetables right Ooh, in? Oh, that's very easy. We've got what cucumber? Cucumber. That's one whole uh, cucumber. Um, we didn't have an organic one here. Um, normally, I try to use organic wherever possible, um, but yeah. because that wasn't an organic uh, cucumber, we peeled it. Yeah, it's always better um, to peel. That's uh, one red bell pepper. One red bell pepper. And I chose red for the color. Ah, yeah, the color. And that's nice. about two medium um, diced carrots. Okay. And I just toss it together. Toss it together. Okay. Wow, I can really smell those spices now, the toastiness. It's very nutty. Yep. So there's going to be, there's this very fine point, and we've just reached it. <laughs> so once you've finished it, you just stick it right in the pan. Okay. And stir that up. In the same pan that you toasted those spices, um, I put about two teaspoons of um, neutral olive oil. And you want that to get nice and hot. Yep, that's, ah, that's sizzling good. a bit. So to this, we're gonna we're gonna temper the mustard seeds and the curry leaves just to help again release their flavor. So you wait, uh, you let these sort of sizzle away. They'll start to pop. To that, you're gonna add um, some curry leaves. Yeah, you were talking about the curry leaves, and I'm a little confused. I've only ever seen. Uh, Ground curry powder, it's not the same not thing? Not the same thing. So curry powder is just a, it's just an Indian, just sort of generic Indian spice blend. Okay. Um, and this is actually the leaf of the curry tree. Oh. So it's totally different. It 
out. So you can hear it starting to pop out. Yeah, but that kind of looks like bay leaf. If you didn't have curly leaves, could you use bay leaf? You can. Um, you just use like one small one because it's okay. much stronger or much stronger. So now you can hear it's popping away. Oh yeah. Let's stick the curry leaves in. Let that. Now you can really smell it. Yeah. Mmm, that smells so yeah. good. Okay, so we're gonna immediately take this off the burner okay. and let it set. That gets added into the doll at the end. Oh, okay. Not now. It's like a finishing thing. And now we'll just wait for the doll to cook. It takes about 30 minutes. Okay. And now what you want to do is you want to sort of mush mush the doll up a little bit, mm -hmm. so just so it's creamier. You want about half of it to be mushed. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to mix in the rest of our stuff. Okay. What's um, next? I need I need to salt it. Um, so I'm just gonna bomb. This hasn't been salted at all. Some in and see how that goes. Okay. Uh, you want pepper again to taste. Black pepper. Uh, then we're gonna also add uh, lemon juice. It's about a quarter cup of lemon juice. Okay. It's already been squeezed. All right. Um, yeah. We're gonna add our tempered spices. So those flavors mix in. Then we're gonna add something called asafoetida. Now it 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 kind of. We only want to put like a quarter teaspoon. Okay. I don't put very much. Okay. So I'm gonna taste it. Okay. I'm a big taster. Um, just to make sure that there's enough salt. Well, it's always a good idea to taste food before you're serving it to others. Yes. Because if it's something you wouldn't eat, you certainly wouldn't want to serve it. Use a little more salt. Okay. More salt. Uh, the last time you made Indian food for me, you made it with raita and... Raita, yes. With raita. So raita would go with this type of food it as well? Would. So we're going to plate now. Um, yes, it would. Um, and I, I'll go ahead and put a cucumber raita recipe on my blog, which is what I made for you. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, it's... Um, we wanted to make this a dairy-free version. Oh, okay. So you can now... You know, just so you know how to make that. Put a little arugula down. Yeah, go ahead and put the salad on top of the arugula. This is a really soupy dog. Um, if you want it to be um, thicker, then either cook it for longer so that the water boils off, or um, uh, you can use less water also. Okay. I just pour it over the rice like that, or you can pour it into a dip, like a bowl. Oh, I, I really, I too. love the way that the black mustard seeds look in that. That's so pretty. Let's go for it. Yeah. So then, then we've got some um, some cilantro, also called coriander, for garnish. Okay. Go ahead, you can just garnish. put it right on go top of it. the. Yep. Let's make it pretty. Sometimes that's all right. Let's see. Hmm. That's really good, but it's a little bit spicy. Is it okay if I put a little bit of yeah. yogurt? Yep. Okay. I like spicy food, but a little bit of Greek yeah. yogurt. And that's how they do it in India quite a lot when you get a, um, you know, here we, you see tali platters in Indian restaurants. Um, and quite often you'll get, you know, let's go have a little bit. Just sit on the side right there. You'll get yogurt on the side and pe they'll, that'll get mixed in as a way to cut the spice. Um, and the heat. Of course, the, it's usually much spicier there than it is here. Let's try the okay. salad. Mm. 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 That's really nice and light. Mm. Yummy. Okay. The citrus really comes through. Great. So I hope you enjoy and that this has inspired you to try making some Indian food. Yeah. I know there's quite a few steps, but it actually is really easy once you sort of learn how to do it. and. 
it doesn't take any extra time to do it that way because the doll's got to cook anyway. So Yeah, no, really, really, really good. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Now I'm going to start cooking Indian Yay! Yay! So we're posting every Wednesday on our YouTube channel. Stay tuned. Yes, stay tuned.